So this is going to show you how to set up Gatekeeper on a Q60 series camera utilizing auto tracking as well uh, within the new interface. So number one, the first thing you want to do is set up two individual preset positions. Preset one is going to be your home position. So this is going to be your stationary position, which is the camera is always going to return to. Then you're going to set up another preset. That's going to be a zoomed in position. This is key. You don't want to zoom the camera in all the way on your target area because then the object that enters will leave the target area of interest sooner and the PTZ will not tracking will not work as well. So you want to zoom it in about halfway so you can get a closer up image on target. So once you create these two positions, the next thing you want to do is bring the camera back to its home position. Then you want to go onto your apps, and this is where your applications are going to be. So we're going to use Video Motion Detection 4 for our application. Make sure that it's running. Open it. And you're going to create your motion zone. So my motion zone is going to be this area of interest. So anytime an object enters this area, the camera is going to zoom in to preset 2, and it's going to start tracking. So we created our motion zone and you can go through and do all your object filters. That's just not the point of this video today. So now that that position is saved and you can actually create multiple polygons here to create any shape you want. Um, we're just going to leave it like this. So now we go back to system. You're going to go under events and we're going to add a gatekeeper auto tracking event. So we're going to click add. We're going to name the event. The trigger is going to be an application. It's going to be VMD4 profile one. Then the schedule is going to be always. You can set a time schedule if you wanted to. Then for the type, we're going to do PTZ control. Control is going to be auto tracking. And then the preset position is going to be based upon preset two. And I always like this part, run until auto tracking stops. So once the object of interest leaves the uh, field of view of the camera, the camera uh, auto tracking will stop and you can click on return to home position. And we put in a time there. I put in five seconds, click OK. Now we created our rule that's checked off. So now I'm going to go walk and enter this scene and you'll see what happens. So now the camera will return to its home position now that I've left the field of view of the camera. Now the camera's returned to its home position and the rule will start all over again.